Y'all, good morning, good morning. Check it out. I know each and every one of you are probably in a different spot all across the world, so it may not be morning for you, but here on the Alabama Gulf Coast, it is a pretty morning. And I'm happy to share it with you all, Steve and Bama Saltwater Fishing. We are out of the Gulf of Mexico, right off of Fort Morgan. Gonna go hit up some of these gas platforms with some lures, go back in the bay, hit some of the inshore ones up, and just see what we can find. Y'all, let's get on some fish. Just showed up to our first gas platform we're gonna fish this morning. These are not oil wells, these are natural gas. We're real close to land, see? Only a few miles offshore. Sitting in 44 feet of water. Here we go with the saltwater X-Wrap jerk bait in the size 14. I like to make a long cast. That's all you need. Loosen the drag just a hair. You don't want it too loose. And then leash my reel. See if we can get us something trolling. Pick up some speed. Marking tons of bait. Y'all, we just hooked up. Boat stop. You have somebody else, normally you want to keep the boat in gear. But here we go. This is our first fish we hooked this morning. Almost made a complete pass around the platform. About three quarter of the way. And actually hooked up. So that's awesome gonna bring you in you never know what you can catch doing this type of fishing that's what makes it so exciting and fun so we're gonna see what we have oh that's a beautiful kingfish <laughs> nice kingfish oh wow no is that a king or a big spaniard come on get up here buddy no, that's a king mac. Big old king mackerel. Usually I don't like netting them. I'm not keeping fish today. So, may get the net on them here. I may just end up boat flipping them in. Oh yeah, big king. All right. He's not bleeding out very badly at all like not at all so that's good hook came out easy and we're gonna let this joker go so barely out of the water not hooked bad at all not bleeding that's a great king mackerel let's jet it back down these things do not like to stop swimming oh man he gone sped off that's awesome i have so many fish that i've given away this past month caught a bunch of king mackerel today is just fun to come out here catch some fish let it go it's not going to hurt a thing as long as those fish are in good condition no need throwing back a fish that's real torn up like what i mean by that bleeding everywhere you've hooked its guts stuff like that it's not going to survive might as well keep it that was a healthy fish healthy release let's get our lure back out make a simple cast just like that So I trolled a few more times around that platform without any luck. And so I want to go back in the bay and go collect up some pogies. Y'all, so I came into the bay because this was my main goal was to get some of these pogies. I just had to go out in the Gulf Hill so flat it was nice. At least I caught a king mackerel. But there's bait all around us, so see if we can get some. Here we go. I mean, it wasn't a perfect pancake, but that wasn't bad at all. Let's see if it produced some bait. Oh, I think we have a lot. I'm, or at least it feels like it. Oh yeah. We're good on bait. This is exactly what I wanted. Need to go get these in the live well real quick and I'll show you what these are. So that's the exact bait I'm looking for right there. These are known as menhaden or pogies. They're very oily, very great bait. I have my live well full. So let's go to a different fishing spot and put these to use. Great baits. Since they're alive, I might as well try a whole one first. We're looking for big fish. I know I could go out in the Gulf, catch more king mackerel, but I'm hoping for a big old red fish. Someone hook this through that hard nose cartilage. 
That's a five alt circle hook and a one and a half ounce egg weight on a knocker rig with some 50 pound fluorocarbon. Let's take this live bait and drop it below this rig and see what we get. So it's only 15 feet deep right here. Unlike out in the Gulf where we're fishing deeper. So I'm just gonna let this live bait sit down there on the bottom. There's a bunch of gravel here on the bottom and different types of rock that the state placed on a lot of these platforms just to enhance it. So we'll see what wants to eat this bait. Come on. Oh, okay. We have whatever it is. Mm. We'll turn that clicker off. We're hooked up. Wow, it's taking some line. Mm. Come on. <laughs> this is cool. Mm. Uh, golly. Mm. Big fish. Real big fish. Uh, now it's just a stalemate. Use the torque of this conventional reel. Mm. Mm. Come on. This is awesome. Wow, what a big red. Wow. That is a pretty red fish. Good gracious, y'all. I love when a plan comes into action like this. That is a awesome dark bull red. Ate the pokey. See if we can get it to the net. Come on, big girl. Let's go to the net. Come on. I wanna, I just wanna touch you. That's all I wanna do. That's all I wanna do. There she is. Wow, what a stud. What a stud. Mm. Come on, girl. All right, we got her in the net. Wow, that's how big in there. Let's get that circle hook out from you. Oh, she was hooked perfect. Thank you, Lord, for you. <laughs> this is a feast. Check it out, look how, look how thick she is. I wanna get her back, but also wanna get a picture. There we go. Let's let her go. She's barely out of the water. You wanna support these underbellies on these big fish. All right. I don't like sticking my hand in there too long, so I'm gonna let some water jet through you because there are some big sharks in this bay. She's ready. There she goes. Man. Y'all, let's grab another bait out of our live well. Buy you a cast net. Learn how to throw it. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to <laughs> just, just find where the bait's real thick if you don't know how to pancake it out. That's my little trick. Get you some of these live baits and you can save money at the bait shop and get stuff that these fish are actually eating out here. You know, match the hatch. I just hooked up another live bait right behind that dorsal. I'm gonna drop her down. Like I said, it's 15 feet of water. We're in a falling tide, but it's really not that strong yet. So I'm only using that one ounce. I like to get away with as little weight as possible. But now that live bait's back down there again. Let's see if we can get us another monster. Mm, all right, there it is again. Mm. What are you? What the heck? Ladyfish, right? I can keep you for bait if I run out of pogies. Come on. No, bluefish. That's a big old blue. That makes sense why my leader was getting shaved. Oh, and he just came off. Cool. That's a bluefish. They're actually not bad to eat. Soak them in some buttermilk. And you don't even have to do that. Just bleed them out and eat them fresh. Keep them on ice. They're good grilled with some butter. They do have some powerful oils in them, so they're not great for freezing, but they're not bad to eat. Major teeth on them. They kind of look like a largemouth bass, but you never want to stick your finger in their mouth. They have some serious teeth and jaw pressure. But there we go, that's a bluefish right there. See what we can catch over here. We've been moving around. Do you? You got a good one? Oh, you do. What was that? Ladyfish. 
There you go. <laughs> save it. Save that for cut bait if you want. In case we run out of shrimp. Like you swallowed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just got a hit too. So you got a nice little lady fish. That's what I told you, right? These rigs are full of them. Oh, I have something else. Well, I hope it's not what you had. No. Oh no, it's a mangrove. Oh no, wow. pig fish. Cool. He looked like a mangrove, didn't he? Yep. We gonna save that lady fish for some cut bait. I'm gonna take this uh, pig fish and throw him back. That's a grunt. They have beautiful colors. Malik over there caught that lady fish. Check that out. Great bait. Throwing Carolina rigs. I have a one ounce egg sinker black barrel swivel 30 pound fluorocarbon and that's about 18 inches of it to a two alt circle hook now my egg weight freely slides up and down my main line which is 30 pound braid i am throwing this on a 4,000 size reel seven foot medium power fast action rod yo let's get the shrimp back out oh that's a good bite oh there we go whiting Southern kingfish. That's not bad eating fish. Not really looking for those, but that's a southern kingfish, otherwise known as a ground mullet. Not like the kingfish that you catch with teeth offshore, but these there's three different types. You can call them whiting as well. Another good eating fish. I'm gonna let him go. He made good cut bait as well. Here we go again. We're just dropping it down. It's only 15 feet deep. Drop it down to the bottom, then I reel up about a crank. Just came back again. Mm. Well, another one did. Something came and grabbed the head. Oh, that's a nice whiting, yeah. I may keep a few of these if I catch some more. <laughs> they make good tacos. This is another nice southern kingfish. That's a great eating fish. I'm actually going to keep this one since he swallowed the hook. And these make excellent fish tacos, fried fish sandwiches, so we'll throw them on ice. Oh, you got a whiting? Yeah. Heck yeah. So you can add to the collection. Cause I'll cook a few oh, up. Lord, I, hate I do too. At least he doesn't have sand on them. Good one. Yeah, you have a nice one. Oh, oh that's cool. A little oyster toad fish. Yeah, those are neat. Y'all, this is an oyster toad fish. Pretty cool things. They are. Uh, they live around any type of structure inshore and offshore. But we're gonna let him go. They do have teeth. You have to watch out for. Oh. Good gracious. Oh, it's ladyfish. This thing's pull so hard until you see them. It's a largemouth bass. <laughs> yeah, it's a ladyfish. There we go, y'all. I got a ladyfish. Oh, there you go. Get him. Get him, Alex. It's a catfish, man. Is it? <laughs> I got somebody's line. And a, baits all way up top. and a ground, and a big ground mullet. That's a good way to. That's a good trip right there. That's a nice ground mullet. That's pretty solid. Dude. Yeah, it is. And that dang sunset is absolutely oh, man, yeah. amazing right now. Hey, you're able to fill up the cooler pretty good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I have something pretty good. All right, I'll drop one last piece of cut bait down. Cut ladyfish. Oh. I have to put some pressure on it. Lord, I hope we can see this. Have a beautiful sunset. Malik's over there taking pictures, and I am too, just because of how gorgeous it is. And I hooked into a fish, and I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know what species it is. Oh, man. There's really no telling out here. Yeah, that's, that's one way to stay off, right? Heck yeah. We can just get our eyes on it. It's like it gets to a certain point and it says, no, thank you. It's up top. All right, swimming this way. Please don't swim towards the rig, please. Good gracious. <laughs> Oh, all right, dude, it is heavy. I don't know. We're just trying to keep the line tight. Oh, here it is. What is that? It's going in a terrible direction. 
Redfish, big old red. You see him? Yeah. <laughs> my boga grips are in the front of my cooler, or in the front hatch. That's a big bull red. That is pretty, man. Yes, sir. I broke my net, so we got the bogus. You get them? Cool. Thank you, brother. Yeah. It's kind of nets are kind of invaluable, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was worth. That's, that's a good awesome. one. Heck yeah! <laughs> like I said, we were just admiring that sunset because it is absolutely beautiful right now. And I just landed this big old redfish with Malik's help. That was awesome, man. Let's get her back. She's over slot. Let her go back and make more big redfish. Thank you, brother. All right. Ooh. Heck yeah, man. Yeah, let's get this big girl back. She gone. She was out of the water probably what, like 40 seconds? Yeah, it wasn't long. No, thanks for grabbing that uh, boga grips for me. Yeah. Kinda forgot I didn't have one. <laughs> yeah, that was a good fish. It's starting to get dark, we need to put up our lights. And we have about 26 miles back to our boat ramp. So, we didn't plan on coming out this far, but it did pay off. And Mallet contributed to the cooler pretty good. So. Finally. Yeah, we did. he did lose a pretty big fish. That's probably what it was. Bet, I bet that's what that was. Yep. So, well, I'll probably see you at home. All right, y'all. Time to go back to the boat ramp. Y'all, I am back home. It is humid, hot, and dark. But, got a little surprise here. Y'all have asked, and here we go. I have some Bama Saltwater hats available on BamaSaltwater.com. These are Richardson name brand hats great snapback hats with the white mesh back this one's the royal blue with the embroidered pompano and the white mesh and i have it in pink as well with the pompano and then i have one more that one actually has a redfish on it instead of the pompano and is a little bit lighter color of this blue and is actually khaki mesh that one's on the website as well so three different colors there and they're ship packed and everything by me <laughs> y'all can go get you some bama saltwater merch like i said on bamasaltwater.com will be down in the description below along with all the other companies that we partner with for the channel and to keep us out on the water. If you enjoy fishing with me out on the water and you want to see more fishing like this, go smash that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. The channel is constantly growing. It's so amazing to see and be able to share all these experiences with each and every one of y'all. As always, we'll see you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us and we'll see you later.